Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to carry out a uh, test of the Honda regulator rectifier. That This has uh, been removed from, yeah, this is a uh, VFR, Honda VFR 800 uh, regulator rectifier. Not that that matters, they're pretty much all the same. Um, with a couple of, you know, there'll be a couple of wiring differences. Uh, for example, on a Honda VFR one, you've got two red and white and two green, and then a black one. The two red and white, are the uh, are the positive cables the two green are the negative and the black one is a signal wire signal wires there basically to tell um, tell the regulator to stop charging the battery effectively okay what um, what we need to do is we need to uh, carry out a test to make sure that it's functioning as it should do and what we do is uh, we use a multimeter in order to do that but First thing I want to do is I want to do a, a little a little bit of a discussion and a, I'm going to draw a diagram so that you can understand what it is that goes on inside the regulator rectifier. Right, so before we actually begin the test of the rectif uh, reg rectifier, what I want to do is using my uh, using my whiteboard. I want to just um, give a brief overview of what it is exactly that your reg rec's doing uh, on your bike. Now, I, I, me personally, I find it um, uh, beneficial to understand the reasons why I'm testing something in order to understand what it is it's actually doing. And I find, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a visual learner, so yeah. So hopefully, you'll you'll find this beneficial. Starting off with. Uh, our stator okay this is our stator and as you can see it's three phase now this will be pushing out something like 70 to 80 volts AC alternating current okay what we need for our bike uh, is uh, 12 volts 12 volts but we need DC direct current okay so what we have in order to achieve that is a regulator rectifier now um, for the purpose of this I'm going to ignore any other cabling that may be in the uh, loom for the regulator rectifier and we're just going to call it positive and negative to the battery okay so what we've got is uh, diodes now diodes are, the, the best way to describe them is like one-way valves. Diodes are one-way valves for current. And these little one-way valves will prevent current flow in one direction. Okay. That prevent current flow in one direction. So, current is allowed to flow in that direction, but cannot flow in that direction against it. It prevents it prevents the flow of current. Okay, so each of the phases will come into the regulator rectifier, like so. And as you can see, the diode will allow the current to flow from this phase here in that direction. It will not allow it to flow in that direction. Likewise, for that phase and for that phase. So it will allow it to flow out to the positive terminal of the battery. It will not allow it to flow in that direction. You understand hopefully you'll understand that that's that is the, a very very basic demonstration of uh, of what we're looking at so in order to carry out our test there's going to be 12 separate tests um in order to test each um each line of the circuit because obviously what we need to do is we need to test that one that one and that one uh that one that one and that one in each direction so one two three four five six in that way and then one two three four five six in that way so we should get continuity in one direction but we won't get continuity in the direction where the diode is stopping the flow hopefully 
I haven't confused anybody and you're still with me. Okay, let's actually uh, crack out our multimeter and have a go at testing a reg rectifier and hopefully um, everything will become clear. Okay then, in order to test what we need, as I said before, multimeter. Um, this one's got a diode function, but not all do. I'm going to use the standard um, ohms uh, resistance readings. Um, and what we want to do is we need to check between these two cables and all three pins on here um, in both directions. Okay, so obviously you need to test this forward and reverse. I'll, I'll explain that as we do it. Now, on this particular one, it doesn't matter really um, about the fact that there's two of each. They're doing the same thing. It's just the Honda have doubled up on the cable. Some manufacturers do that. Um, if you wish, you could do um, test between each of those pins. It's entirely up to you, but you probably get the same readings. Okay, what we're going to do first is I'm going to put the positive lead onto the green wire, one of the green wires. And the negative lead, I'm going to touch between all three pins and we're going to look at the screen and see if we get any uh, anything at all. Okay, so we're getting 4.01. What we should get at the next two pins is roughly similar. It won't be exactly the same probably, but it wants to be similar. Not too far. And there we go. So we are getting a reading. At each of those now what we need to do that's in one direction we've checked um, forwards what we also need to do now is check in reverse so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over my probe and go to the same pin with the negative now switch that one over just for the sake of the uh, color convention and my OCD won't allow me to just use the black one. Okay, now we're going in the opposite direction now. So, look at the, looking at the multimeter, we shouldn't get anything in this direction. At all three pins, and there you go. So, what we've done on that side is we've, we've tested forwards and reverse. We get, um, we're getting, um, a reading forwards but we're not getting a reading backwards which is what we should get that means that the diodes are doing their job in both directions they're allowing the current to flow in one direction but they're not allowing it to flow in the other so what we need to do next is go to the red and white wire and do exactly the same test now this way round we should get a reading at each one a very similar reading. Yep, that's about right. And again, what we're going to do is swap them around. Okay, now positive to the red and white wire. Now, what we shouldn't get here is any, any reading whatsoever. If we do, then we've got a problem. And there we go. And we don't. So, we know full well that everything there is good. Okay, so, having carried out all that test, we can, uh, we can uh, safely make the assumption that this regulator rectifier is good. All the diodes are working and doing exactly what they should. Um, they're not allowing uh, current to flow in the wrong direction. They're only allowing it to flow in the correct direction. So yeah, this one's all uh, this one's all good. Um, hopefully you uh, you found that video um, useful. Uh, if you've got any questions or any uh, comments on on the video itself, then please uh, leave them in the bottom, and uh, I'll do what I can to get back to you. What I will do, um, I will also. Uh, film a video on testing the stator on the motorcycle itself okay um, what I'll do um, is I'll create that video and I will upload it shortly um, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, you'll be uh, able to see that okay so uh, thanks for stopping by guys um, thank you very much don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you all again for the next video thank you very much bye bye <laughs>